guys, it is me. Um, I decided that I wanted to vlog for the Summerathon Readathon that's happening. Um, it actually starts tomorrow, but I wanted to start this off today, the day before the 20th. I don't know, just because it. I felt like if I didn't start it today, then I'd be too lazy to start it tomorrow. So, yeah. But I'm excited to start and like read all these contemporaries that I have lined up. Um, I'll show you those in a second. But for today, I'm just chilling out, reading, um, filling out some more job applications because I need a job. Um, I am currently working through The Naturals again. I am rereading it because I am trash. I'm rereading it with Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell because we both love this series and we both love Jennifer Lynn Barnes and so I like tweeted about wanting to reread the series and then she was like let's do it together and I was like I'm down and so we did and so we started and I'm excited look at all of these tabs I decided to go back through and tab all of my favorite moments and all of my like aha moments that I realized like played into like how intricately like put together the series was and all the little things that like led up to the big like plot twists and stuff like that. My green tabs, which like are a lot, are all of my favorite Sloan moments. So yeah, um, <laughs> she is my favorite, one of my favorite characters in this series, and she is just so precious, and I love her, and so I was like, I'm just gonna go through and tab all of my favorite moments that she's in, and here we go. I can't stop gushing about this series or smiling whenever I think about it because it's just so good. <laughs> if you guys don't know what this is about, like, think of it as, like, a YA criminal minds, essentially, like that's the best way to describe it without like spoiling it for you guys again i'm rambling <laughs> but i don't regret it if it gets one of you guys to read this so then the next book i'm slowly working through um before i start this contemporary thon is harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban as well i started reading the audiobook version because i was driving when i started this and i got to chapter eight which was pretty good for a four hour drive. And I like, I feel like I've gotten a good chunk through it so far and I'm like loving it too. I think it's because also, so like this is my favorite, Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite movie. So I was excited to get to uh, the book because I wanted to see like the similarities and the differences and stuff like that. And I'm just like thoroughly enjoying it. Also, I feel like it's a lot more like humorous than the movie is like, if that makes sense. Like, there are just a lot more funny moments where I'm just, like, dying. Most of it when it involves, like, George and Fred and, like, sometimes Ron. But, like, that's what I'm finding out for right now. So I might try and read more of the audiobook today. I'm not really sure yet. We'll, we'll see how I feel. But I'm definitely going to open up the naturals again until um, it's time to stop. But, yeah, let me show you guys my TBR real quick. I can't remember what all the prompts are right now and I don't want to like look for them as I'm filming this because I don't want to make this clip too long but, but for my TBR for Summerathon the four books that I'm working through is When Life Gives You Demons by Jennifer Honeyburn, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, I'll Give You the Sun by John D. Nelson and Truly Madly Royally by Debbie Rigaud. I'm excited to get to this one. I think this will probably be the first one I open up. And I, then I think I might move either to Prince Charming or I'll Give You the Sun. Partially, uh, I'll Give You the Sun because I've already started it. So I was like, I need to finish it. But also, I really want to get to Prince Charming because I'm just excited to experience that story. And then I probably honestly will save When Life Gives You Demons for last um, not because I don't want to read it, but just because I'm a little bit more excited for the other three. But I will keep you guys updated on what I decide because who knows, my mood could change at any point. So, but I know for sure, like Truly Madly Worldly would be the first one because I'm really excited to check that out and see how I feel about it and see what the author does with the story. So, I'm excited. Um, I will probably update you guys later and yeah
this is day one of Summerathon. So, um, my plan is to start truly madly broilly today. But, I'm probably not going to start till later. Because I'm currently getting ready to uh, go to D.C. with a friend. So, uh, I won't really have a lot of time to read. Just because... I'll be like walking around and doing stuff so I think my plan is to start it later I probably won't be in DC like all day I don't think that's the plan so I should still have enough time to at least start my book today um but yeah I'm excited I'll probably show you guys clips of just me walking around and then we're gonna hit up some museums maybe one or two so I'll keep you guys updated Um, so I'm finishing up editing this day 1.5 slash day 1 vlog of Summerathon um, and I wanted to update you guys at the end. So after I got back to my house from hanging out in DC, I like crashed so I didn't get any reading done at all. Well, that's a lie because I did listen to a lot of the Harry Potter audiobook um, while I was driving back and forth. So I got, I think the last time I stopped, I was at chapter 8, and I got to chapter tw 11 or 12. So um, I got some more, like, pages in. So I did do some reading, just not um, the reading that I had planned, which is okay because I have a couple more days to, like, get it all done and start stuff. So not too worried. But, yeah, 
hanging out in DC was so much fun, and um, I hope you guys like this vlog. Stay tuned for the rest of the days coming up.